The next topic we're going to discuss is using virtual terminals. Now virtual terminals give Unix its unique ability to handle multiple users and multiple sessions at the same time. Virtual terminals allow you to use multiple shells and multiple sessions and the graphical user interface all at the same time. It's almost as if you have separate consoles and separate machines, but they're all in one machine. Now virtual terminals can be used while the machine is in multi-boot mode. If you've booted into single user mode, this normally doesn't work. We designate terminals by a numbering convention and they're numbered as TTYV0 through V7. There's eight in all. Normally, if you are running an X Windows installation, the graphical user interface, it is installed on TTY V7. If you're not running X Windows, that means you just have eight terminal sessions. It's easy to switch between these virtual terminals, and you basically use the keystroke of Alt F1, Alt F2, and so forth to switch between these terminals. And it's very easy to use, and you can log in multiple times as the same user or as multiple users in each of these sessions. Now, doing something in one session doesn't interfere with any running processes or things you're doing in another session. So the root user can be doing some work, other users can be doing work as well. Hence, the ability to have multiple users and multiple sessions. Let's go ahead and take a look at virtual terminals and after you see a demonstration of them I believe you'll understand them a little bit better. We're in our FreeBSD virtual machine in VMware and we're going to go ahead and log in as root and now that we're logged in we may do some work here, we may uh, create some files, run some processes and so forth. Okay, if we want to do some other work, we don't want to log out and have to log back in because we have some work, let's say, that's going on, like a backup or something. So we may want to switch by hitting the Alt F2 button to a new terminal. As you can see, we switched back and forth. Now we're in TTYV1. Now we're back in our TTYV0. And from here, we can log in as an additional user if we like. We can also switch to other terminals by hitting F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, and so forth. And we can scroll through all these terminals and switch back to any one at any given time just by hitting the Alt and appropriate F key. From TTYV1, let's go ahead and log in as a different user. Let's make it a normal user, a user that does not have root privileges. We'll use the Bobby user account I have on here. And as you can see, we're logged in as a normal user. We don't have the number sign hash mark prompt, so that usually indicates you're a normal user. And we can do things that normal users can do and we can also switch back to our first terminal and see that we're still logged in as root there. So we're switching back and forth between two users simply by hitting the Alt F1, F2 key. Now that's a very good way to perform a lot of different work as multiple users and use multiple sessions. Now where these terminals are configured is in a file that we'll take a look at, the slash etsy slash tt YS file and virtual terminals are configured through here. Let's run that so we can uh, let's pipe it to less so we can see it all. Now the first part of this file it's a text file as most Unix configuration files are and the first part of it is uh, commented out and it's all comments but if you scroll down a little bit you'll see that there are some terminals configured where you don't see the little hash mark is an actual configuration file. If you see the hash mark in a text file that's a comment normally and that's prevented from running. But we see that TTYV0 is configured and 1 through 8 is configured and uh, they're on the, the console 25. They're secure terminals meaning that root is okay to log in there and these are all local terminals. We can also configure other terminals, network terminals if we like, or console terminals. We can configure as many of these as we like. We can also get rid of some of the ones that are on there so we only have one or two terminals for security. But we basically configure all of these if we like. Normally, unless you really have a good reason to reconfigure these, you don't have to. Let's go ahead and get out of this file. But it's a simple text file and easy to use. So as you can see, virtual terminals are very useful and they really give credence to the multiple user, multiple session ability that Unix claims to have. And it actually does have it. A lot of other operating systems claim to be multi-user and multi-session, but they're really not. You might have multiple user accounts on the box, but you may have to log out of one user session and log back into another user session. So Unix gives you true multitasking, multi-user ability. And virtual terminals is one way you can achieve this.